Welcome, welcome to this My Aim Store video tutorial, how to add your testimony. My name is Kevin, and I'll be walking you through. So the My Aim Store websites come built in with several different testimonies already. And most of you can find them up underneath testimonies on your website. But let's say you want to add your own. Well, to do that, we're going to start by going to your site. So myaimstore.com slash whatever your store name is. Scroll down to the very bottom of the page and lower right corner, click log in to your My Aim Store. That brings us to the login screen and we just add our username and password just like that. We're going to click login and then we write our dashboard. And from the dashboard what we're looking for is the pages link which will be on the left side of your dashboard here. When you place your mouse over it you'll see a little down looking triangle, a little down arrow. Go ahead and click that. Opens up a menu. We're going to click add new. So here is our add new page and down here is where you can type in the testimony that you have. So I've already written it up. I'm just going to copy and paste it into the page editor here. And just like that it goes in there. And then the nice feature about this editor is that you can use it a lot like you would use Microsoft Word. So you can make things bold, you can put things in bullet lists, use italics. Most of the tools that you've seen in Word can be used in this editor. Once you have your testimony looking the way you like it, you can come up here, add a title to it. And then before we're done, one last thing to check, and that's whether or not you want your testimony to be a parent or a child. I know that sounds a little confusing, so let me show you what I mean. If we come back over to our My Aim Store site, at the top of the page, this menu right up here, these are all parent pages. So they're the top level menu on our website. If we look under testimonies, we'll see a drop down list, and those are all children pages. So these are the sub menu of our website. So again, we have parent pages, and then we have children pages. So back over to our testimony, what I want to do is add my testimony as a child page to the testimonies page. So I click the down arrow, find testimonies in there, select it, and I'm all set. Then go ahead and click publish. And once we're all done with that, we can take a look at the page and then share it. To view it, you can go ahead and click view page right from here. Also, you'll notice that it shows up in our testimonies list since I made it a child page down here at the bottom, my testimony. So if you're happy with the way it looks, the next step would be sharing it with your friends and family. And for this, you can share this link really anywhere that you usually share stuff online. So email, Facebook, Twitter. I'm a big fan of Facebook, so I'm going to share this link on Facebook. The first thing we we'll need to do here is get the link. So if you look at the very top of your browser in what's called the address bar, the link shows up up there. So go ahead and select it all. We're going to copy it, just like that. And then we're heading over to Facebook, and I'm logged into my account here. What's on your mind? Check out my testimony. And then Facebook gives us an op option to add a link to it. So click link, and we're going to paste that link that we copied from before right in there. Click attach. And then we can click share and it's going to post right onto our wall. And there you have it. If you have any further questions, feel free to email us at myaimstore at aimintl.com. Give us a call at 1-800-477-4246 or head over to myaimstore.com for additional resources.